Drop it. Hi everyone, I'm Bernie and welcome to our channel. For today's video, we will talk about how to propagate string of hearts and which method is better. If you haven't watched my video on string of hearts, four varieties, and care tips, I'll put the link at the end of the video, so please check it out. So these are string of hearts that I propagated last April 8th and the method that I used are water and butterfly method in moss and cocoa car. The string of hearts in water propagation didn't make it and was rotted. And here the moss and coco core propagation. So how did it go? We'll start with the coco core. Gently pull the hearts out. And as you can see, some of it started to grow another string. Let's check the moss propagation. Here's one but too short. And here's another one. So which is better? Of course, as you can see, it's the coco car. If you cut a mature leaf, do not throw it out because it will grow bulbs or little potatoes. And here is how it looks like. All you have to do is just stick it on top of the cocoa core or moss and it will be another plant when mature. Out of 8 leaves, 3 of them has grown bulbs and roots. The other leaves eventually wilted and died. How to propagate string of hearts using butterfly method in coco core. Here is my variegated string of hearts and it's quite long now. All you need is a pair of scissors, coco core, plastic container, clear plastic bag, spray bottle with water, hot water, and cuttings. Before using coco core, you should pour boiling water first and let it sit for at least 15 minutes and drain. Do this to make sure that there are no bacteria, fungus, or bugs in the coco core. Select the strands that you want to propagate. Cut the strands on either side of each pair of hearts and leave about 1-2 to cm long on each side. Make sure to remove the buds or flowers so that the hearts will concentrate in growing their roots rather than saving all the energy for the flowers. Spread the coco core in your container and stick your butterflies. Make sure that the nodes are in contact with it. Use this propagation method especially when you have only few strands. Thank you. 
Place it in a clear plastic bag and spray with water. Then seal. Place your propagations in a bright indirect light or under a grow light if you have one. Propagation after care. Spray with water when you don't see any condensation anymore. Don't spray too much water or your butterflies will die. If there is too much condensation, open the bag for air to flow and close it after a few minutes. Do this until your butterfly develop roots. Do not place them in direct sunlight or they will burn. Transfer your propagation into a well-draining soil mix when their roots are about an inch or two. So here are the variegated string of hearts that I propagated last May 28 and let's see if the butterfly method in Coco Core really works for the second time. As you can see, they have long roots. And we will transfer it to a well-draining soil mix. Spray with water until damp and do this every day for the first 3 days. You might be wondering why you need to spray water right away after potting when the general rule is to wait for a few days before watering. So here's the thing. Since they came from a humid or moist environment, spraying them with water after transferring will recreate the environment that they are used to and the roots will have time to adjust to the soil. If you don't spray them with water, the roots will dry out and won't make it. Grease the water after a few weeks but not that much. And water it again when the soil is dry. If you don't spray them with water, the roots will dry out and won't make it. Increase the water after a few weeks and the water it again when the soil is dry. You can do the soak and dry method when they are already stapled. Place your hearts in a bright indirect light or under a grow light if you have one. The butterfly method in Coco Core is definitely a successful propagation method. And for me, it's the best way to propagate string of hearts. If you have tried this method, comment down and share your experience on it. Thank you for watching and happy planting. God bless and stay safe everyone.